complete this whole circle, it looks something like a rose. Okay? So, rose compass is prepared when you divide the cardinal directions bit into intermediate directions. Alright? So, this is how the direction is formed. It's very simple. If you want to draw the intermediate directions, you have to first start with your north. The opposite becomes your south. Then your right becomes your east and left becomes your west. And just draw lines between them and you get this directions. To form a compass rose. Now every map has a scale and this scale is expressed in three different ways. Okay? Now without a scale your map becomes incomplete. Alright? As I told you it is the ratio between the map distance and the ground distance. And before that, uh, I think we missed out grid. Now grid is a network, okay? If you look at the globe, you'll see lines running from north to south and east to west, all right? And these lines join at particular place to form grid. And why do we use this grid system? To find a particular point on the map or on the earth, okay, grid is used. So just now you don't need much information about it. We, you will be studying about it in the uh, later chapters in detail. So just now these are just the elements of a map. So what are the five elements of a map? First of all, it's the title, then the scale, then direction, greed, legend, okay, or symbols. All right, the last one is symbols and keys. All right, that you should know. So without the help of the symbols and keys, it will not be uh, very interesting or very uh, easy for a person to study the map in a uh, proper way. So I will just show you the pictures here and um, I want you all to draw this in your notebook. All right, uh, it shows land counters, then it shows international rivers, fall, dam, canal, lake. Then we have marshy swamp, trench, reef, river, coastline, desert, pass. Then we have international boundaries, state boundaries, capital of countries, other town, main road, caravan route main railway, sea route, oil pipelines, all of these are shown here and these are the symbols which will help you to study it in detail. Alright, so I want you to please draw them with pencil in your notebook and learn the different symbols which it is indicating and showing you. Alright, so with this we end today's uh, session.